if it's such a balanced meal, why does my blood sugar spike so high after eating it? Great question, let's take a closer look. And, and look at three things. First, if your blood sugar is spiking, meaning it's exceeding 140 milligrams per deciliter within an hour or two of eating a meal like a hamburger, then go to your doctor. They will probably order some blood work, probably fasting insulin and glucose, as well as hemoglobin A1C. Depending on those results, they may also order a glucose challenge test. It's important to know if you're insulin resistant, pre-diabetic, or have type 2 diabetes. And if you do, there are ways to improve the glycemic responses to a meal like a hamburger, which I'll get to. Second, if your blood sugar isn't spiking, but it's just spiking, like if you wear a continuous glucose monitor and your blood sugar level is going up more than what they say is that ideal 30 milligrams per deciliter, like you're not, you're not achieving that like perfect flat line of blood glucose, that's not really a problem that needs to be fixed. Normal is postprandial blood sugar under 140 milligrams per deciliter. There's not really good science to support aiming for always keeping it under 120. Not only that, but blood sugar increasing up to like 160 milligrams per deciliter after a carb-rich meal can still be normal. But in that case, do talk to your doctor and make sure to check your hemoglobin A1c which kind of measures your average blood sugar levels over the last two to three months. And you wanna make sure that's below 5.7%. And third, okay, so let's say your glycemic response to a meal like a hamburger isn't ideal. What can you do? The most important thing for meal composition here is to add more fiber. If you're adding lettuce, tomato, and red onion to a burger, but using a white bread bun, like the burger in the video this comment is on, you've got three, maybe four grams of fiber tops. You can up that by swapping out the white bread bun for whole wheat or multigrain, adding way more vegetables to the burger, or adding a side salad or coleslaw or a bean salad. Going for a walk after your meal can have a really big benefit to the glycemic response to that meal, especially the sooner after you finish eating, you head out for that walk. So you get the best effect if your walk is within 30 minutes of your meal. And then there's all the habitual things that help to improve glycemic responses and insulin sensitivity. Get more sleep, live an active lifestyle, reduce your stress. Make sure your vitamin D levels are good. I go through the details on how vitamin D levels impact type 2 diabetes risk in my book, Nutrivore. And the most important diet factors are eating more vegetables, more fruit, more legumes, more nuts and seeds, and more seafood. 